beyond what happens in the physical world, intense activity also occurs in the spiritual world. We cannot see it, but this can entirely influence a person's life. Besides, if things are not going well in the spiritual realm, there is no point in fighting with your own strength. This is because in the physical realm, nothing will go well. Therefore, spiritual purification is not an option, but the first step towards achieving different results. If you want freedom from any evil influence, prepare some salt and bring this to be consecrated, so that your life can be completely purified through faith. We shall continue this Friday with the 12 Fridays of Purification with the Consecrated Salt. At 7.30 p.m., Tenney Universal Church near you. Very good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Morning Blessing Program. We are here together one more day with you, and we are here to help you. We are here with a word of faith, of encouragement, especially for you who are feeling down, feeling discouraged. You are, you are not feeling well emotionally, spiritually, and maybe even physically. I want to... Uh, Open the lines of our program, the, the, the phone number for you to call, for you to speak with one of our pastors who are waiting for your call right now and they will pray for you, they will help you, they will provide for you what you need to overcome these bad feelings, these bad thoughts. So call us now, 0296 0298 37, and I am sure that someone will be there to support you right now. Well, as you saw, as you watched this call about the Friday service, I want to invite you to prepare yourself and join us, join us today for this special service that is for those who are struggling with spiritual problems spiritual attacks, you are going through situations and problems that you say, no, it's not normal. I went to the doctor, I went to the specialist, I went to the counseling, nothing is helping me. Yes, you, are, you may be struggling with a spiritual problem. These panic attacks, these sleep problems, these sickness that the doctors cannot give you a diagnosis. Yes, you can be facing a spiritual problem. Today, in all our services, we're going to be speaking about this. We're going to be guiding you, teaching you what to do, what steps to take in order for you to be free, completely free from this affliction, from these spiritual problems. You are going to bring with you a little bit of salt, not much, just a little bit of salt that we're going to be using for the purification. Here in the service, you're going to learn how to use the salt that will be consecrated, will be blessed, and it's going to be an element for you to use for your benefit. Okay? So now we're going to be watching a testimony of someone who overcame the problems that he was facing, and today he can share his experience, his story, and I'm sure that you will learn with this testimony. Why am I here? What's my purpose in life? Even after everything I achieved, why do I still feel incomplete? Is it really possible to be happy and complete inside? We can help you answer these questions. Call us now. 9602-9837. Faith helped me to become who I am today by seeing examples and actually put it into practice and then I could see the transformation in my life. My life today in general is blessed, it's wonderful. My spiritual life, my financial life, my love life, all wonderful. I'm living a better life since my life transformed. Six years, I could say I've been comfortable, I could do anything in. 
Before the type of problems I face is, what's well, taking long to, to find employment? Go to the shop, you have to count each penny because you don't want to overspend because you have to budget what you have to do. Marital problem, I was arguing with my wife most of the time. I was evangelized one Friday, I was just in the town center and one uh, youth came up and invited me to church and I just went. And then from that time, I could see the difference. Uh, I was never in a church like that and it just changed my life. Universal, I'll, I'll put it like um, it's from what, what I learned from the church, you embrace everything and you help everyone. So you put what you learn into practice and you just be glorious in everything you do. The process for you learning to use my faith was, was really quick. So from the first night I, en I entered the church, I could see the difference. I sat down and spoke with the pastor and he prophesied and he said I would get a job on Sunday. I came the Friday and he said I would get a job on Sunday. To me, I was saying Sunday, how is that possible? But I just believe. Sunday I received a call, didn't believe it, I listened, got an interview and I received a job after. And from that time, I just, just go straight ahead. So as a universal person, I help other people by um, um, do a, a heavy like um, maintenance. So anyone I meet, I will spread the word with them in a different way. I'll bring it into everything I'm doing. I also go out, meet people with, with our group I have in church. We go out and we meet people and we evangelize them, invite people to church. In the beginning, I was feel a bit hard because I have a strong accent, so it's difficult for people to understand. But as I start doing it, just fall in love with it. I see myself today uh, totally different. Uh, looking at my love life, it's we together, we don't argue anymore, we're together like we're on a honeymoon. Uh, like for my spiritual life, after I was baptized in water, I went through the process, then I got the Holy Spirit, and from that point, it's just like a bed of roses. Yes, we still have a battle, but it's enjoy doing anything you do for God. I'm also just more happy person, more calm, relaxed in everything I do. By the power of faith, um, I conquer so many things. First main major thing I conquer, uh, me and my wife was trying for son for many years. We did a campaign, we got this son. I uh, was able to open businesses, we got our passport, UK citizen, landlord, I have many properties now. I also have a company where I manage properties as well. So just a general life, everything's happy, yeah. I don't regret to be part of the Universal Church. I saw so much transformation in my life from there and I, I did so much in that church. I, if I have to do it over again, I'll do the same thing all over again. Have you ever tried to draw a straight line? Try it when you can. Without the help of a ruler, it's not all that easy to do. If it's hard to do on a simple piece of paper, it's even harder to walk along a straight line. And this is what we're going to learn about today. There are so many paths to choose from in this life, but the most important and the most difficult is for the salvation of our soul. And it's a path that cannot be diverted from. It's like a straight line, and you've got to walk along it. But how can we walk a straight course when we carry within ourselves something that naturally blocks us from walking straight. This can be proved by science itself. No one is able to walk a straight line. One experiment carried out by German scientists revealed that people who have been blindfolded are incapable of keeping to a straight line. This physical fact is a snapshot of the spiritual state of each one of us. Even when we think we're walking a straight line, we inevitably wander off course, to the right or to the left. The reasons why remain a mystery of science. The only thing that seems evident is that something exists inside of you and me that blocks us from walking straight. We can even try on our own to walk this straight path, but we just can't do it. If we go it alone, wandering off is certain. Our spiritual life is like this as well. As long as the Holy Spirit, our true guide, isn't inside of you, this is how you are, walking with blindfolded eyes. 
exposed to dangerous twists and turns of this life. It's an impossible course to follow all by yourself. Just like drawing a straight line, you need the help of a guide to keep you on track. And to walk without being diverted, you need to take off the blindfolds. Only he is able to keep you from wandering off the path, neither to the right nor to the left. Those who live in this world without the Holy Spirit could assume that they're walking straight, but their slip-ups and missteps reveal the detours they've been taking. Don't be deceived. You've been walking along a dangerous line that's closer to sin than it is to salvation. Because of that, prioritize the Holy Spirit and become one of the few who will get it right in the end. Let your eyes look right on and let your eyelids look straight before you. Do not turn to the right or to the left. Remove your foot from evil. Proverbs 4, 25, 27. You see, my dear friend, there is always a way out. While there is life, there is hope. And when a person manifest his faith and he comes to God. Yes, because what's the point for me to say I have faith if I do not practice, if I do not act this faith? When you leave your house, when you leave your place to come to the house of God is when your life starts to change because you are acting your faith Look what the Bible says. Look what the Word of God says to you who are searching, looking for peace, for comfort, for strength. There in the book of John chapter 14, we're going to be displaying this verse on the screen. If you have your Bible, you can also prepare yourself for this meditation that I am sure that will bless you, will bless your day, will bless your life. The Bible is speaking here, the Lord Jesus actually is speaking here about His Spirit. He promises this Spirit, His Spirit for His disciples. He says there in the verse 25, John 14 verse 25, These things I have spoken to you while being present with you. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send, will, will send in my name, He will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. And in the verse 27, He says, Peace I live with you. My peace I give it to you, not as the world gives do I give it to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You see, how many of you, even though you say, I believe in God, I have my religion, I have faith, I am a Christian, but now you find yourself with a troubled heart. You are anxious. You are not well. You are not well. You can't say, I am fine. I am good. When someone asks you, how are you? You say, yeah, not bad. Why? Because it's not too good. It's not good. You were supposed to be well because you have faith. You were supposed to be well because you have your your religion, let us say like this, but you are not. And I want to invite you to think, to stop and thinking, uh, think about that. Yes, because even God in His Word, He invites us to think. Yes or no? So let us say that you are a Christian. Let us say that you believe in the Bible, but you didn't receive this peace yet. You are still as the disciples 
of the Lord Jesus was in this, in this time when they didn't have the Holy Spirit yet. And he says to them, let your heart, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You see, my dear friend, God, he doesn't want us to be troubled. He doesn't want us to be afraid. He wants to comfort. He wants to strength. He wants to give us peace. And not the peace that this world gives, he wants to give. He wants to give his peace, which is peace inside. Complete peace. Peace that will be displayed in your smile, in your face. Everybody will see uh, in your workplace, in your house, in the church, wherever you go, people will see this peace that comes when you are filled with the presence of God. Well, how is it possible, Pastor? How is it possible for me to be filled with the presence of God, filled with peace, not be anxious, not be afraid anymore, be a happy person? Well, when you hear the word, the word of God, when you hear the message that is being preached, it, it passes to you, this message passes to you a spirit. Once you open the door and you let this spirit in, you let this word in, you put aside the prejudice, you put aside the fear, you put aside whatever stops this word from entering inside of you, you will receive the peace. But you have to take action, my dear friend. You have to open your heart. You have to stop and thinking. Think maybe what a person who are easily led by emotions. You like coming to the church and singing and worshiping, but when you leave the church, you are still incomplete. You are still troubled. My dear friend, this situation has to change. Allow the word to enter. Listen and allow this word to enter and find place inside of you. I want to pray I want to pray for all of you, all of you who want to be filled with this spirit, the spirit of the Lord, the comforter, the helper, the spirit of peace. That is the only way for me to be complete is receiving the spirit of God. Well, let us prepare ourselves for this prayer. If you have a cup of water, and you want to present in the prayer, you can feel free to prepare your cup of water while we prepare ourselves for the prayer. Don't be afraid Of the storms that rock your life God will protect you Call on His name He swore to bless you and take away your pain and give you joy don't be afraid of the pain that breaks your heart no need to fear put your trust in God he'll dry your tears no dream or problem is him the sun may no longer shine the moon may give up its light but his promise will remain until the end my God is not a man all that he says will stand I will obey his voice on God The sun may no longer shine, the moon 
when we pray to God, we can receive strength, courage, faith, peace and anything we sincerely ask for. Take advantage of this moment, close your eyes, and raise your thoughts to God. It's time to pray. My Lord and my Father, in the name of your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray now for this person who is watching this program now, not by chance, my Lord. He is feeling anxious. He is feeling troubled. He is confused. He is being bombarded, my Lord, by these bad feelings, these bad emotions, these bad thoughts which are not too good for him are making this person, my Lord Jesus, suffer. I ask you that, my Lord, your spirit may come upon them, the spirit of peace that comes when we listen to your word, to your voice, and this person is listening to your word right now. My Lord, come right now, come upon him, come upon her, come upon this person, my Lord, who doesn't know what to do, who is looking for a way out, who is looking for a solution, come to put an end in the pain. The pain that is not in the body, but the pain in the soul, which the Panadol, the painkillers, my Lord, cannot stop. Let your power be manifested right now in his life and give, my Lord Jesus, the strength that this person needs to take the necessary steps towards, my Lord, the transformation, the change in his life that starts, my Lord, when there is a change inside. I bless them all, all who are listening to this program, who are watching this program, this person who is at work, this person who is leaving his house, or even he is at home. My Lord, let your power touch them. Let your power, my Lord, embrace this person, strengthen them for them to do what my Lord, their faith is already telling them to do. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I consecrate, I bless this cup of water so that when this person drinks, he will receive the refreshment, my Lord, for the soul. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I bless this cup of water or this bottle. And if you believe and you agree, you can drink right now and after drinking, you can say Amen and praise God. Amen. My dear friend, I want to invite you to come this Sunday to one of our help centers, to one of our churches here in Australia or even in your country. Our first service is going to be 7.30 a.m., and the main service in most of our churches is 9.30 a.m. Yes, that in Queensland, if you live in Queensland, Logan area, Brisbane, Gold Coast, our main service is 10 a.m. Yes. Then after, in the afternoon, we have 3 p.m. and also 5 p.m. If you go to our website right now, we can find all our locations. Yes, UCKG. Dot org dot au. Our headquarters is here in Liverpool, 153 Northumberland Street, near to the Westfield, just in, the, in front of the Liverpool Plaza. It's very easy to find. A lot of buses come on the, in this direction. We have, it's like 10 minutes walking from the Liverpool train station, so it's easy to find. And I am sure that the strength for you to do it is that inside of you. Put the excuses aside and manifest your faith, my dear friend. Because coming here and listening to the word of God is going to be the beginning of a new story as we have been watching testimonies every day, yes or no? So if it's possible for them, if there was hope for them, there is hope for you, no matter who you are. May God bless you, stay safe, and see you next time.